Hi, and welcome to another video from Car Watch Guys. Today I want to talk to you about your cost per car. Calculating your cost per car doesn't have to be difficult, but it is very important. The first step to figuring out your cost per car is to do volumetrics. We need to know for every chemical that you're using in the wash, what the volume of that chemical is being used per vehicle. So in this particular tunnel we're in, a normal function that stays on from the front of the vehicle to the rear of the vehicle is 21 seconds. So we'll do our draw test here at a 21 second draw. Now that doesn't work for everything. For instance here we have a pre-soak that comes on the front of the vehicle that switches and goes to the back of the vehicle. Those aren't full car functions. We also have CTAs. Those are not full car functions. Those are just coming out on the tires. So those don't work by time. Those work best if you're running actual vehicles to get those draws. But I'm going to show you how to do your draws. When it comes to actually doing the draw tests, there's three ways that it's generally done. One would be using a containment system, something like these diamond shine tanks that we'll be using today. Another way would be to use graduated cylinders. The final way is to use a scale. And we'll look at all three of these options. Using these diamond shine tanks is really simple. Our draw line is pulling out of a graduated cylinder that's going to give us our measurement very easily. All we have to do is close this valve at the bottom. Now the tube cannot refill itself from the containment tank. From there we'll do our 21 second draw and see how much product was drawn out of the graduated cylinder. It's a little tough to see it from the angle of the camera. But right now, we're at 263 millimeters. Let's do the draw test and see what we get. So now we can see, after our 21 second draw, that we are down to 258 millimeters. So we went down from 263 to 258 five millimeters. One thing to keep in mind is that we're using millimeters here not milliliters so there is a conversion that has to be done. You can see here that the conversion is given to get to milliliters we have to multiply by 0 0.09 so five millimeters would actually be 4.5 milliliters. Another way to take volumetrics is with graduated cylinders. These are inexpensive, they're plastic, you don't have to worry about them breaking. You can buy them on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. For each product that you're going to be testing, if you want to test multiple products at once, get multiple graduated cylinders. But get a 250 milliliter, this is going to be big enough that you can get your foot valve and tube down into here. Also get a 50 milliliter. Uh, this is where you'll actually take your measurement. So what you want to do is get the product into your graduated cylinder, put the foot valve and the tube all the way down into the bottom, and then fill up till you get to a known line. Usually I like to use the 200 milliliter mark. You'll run a car as the car is running or doing a draw test by seconds. The volume in the graduated cylinder will start to go down. Don't just take your measurement off of here because it's not very precise. These lines go by fives or tens depending on what size cylinder you have. So use your smaller one with the same chemical filled up to the 50 milliliter line and backfill into this one until you get back to that known line that you were at. Then take your measurement off of the smaller cylinder where it goes in uh, one milliliter increments so it's going to be much more precise. Now let's take a look at how to do volumetrics using a scale. I use the CTS 30,000 scale. Uh, I'll put the link for this in the description as well. Uh, it's a nice scale because you can put up to 66 pounds on it, so it should be able to hold any 5 gallon of chemical you're using. Uh, if you're trying to test out of something larger, like a 30 gallon drum, then you'll likely have to put it into a smaller container, or if your drum is not completely full then it might be able to hold it. So we'll just turn on the unit on the side here. It takes a second to load. Once it's at zero we can put our chemical jug on top. I'm using two and a half gallons here so it's very easy. 
So there it tells us our weight in grams. Next I'm going to put my draw line into the chemical. Just drop that in. All right, we're ready to do a test. So the first thing we need to do is tear the unit or zero it out. So there our uh, weight goes down to zero. So now I'm going to run my product for 21 seconds. So we'll let it settle there and we can see that we've drawn four grams of chemical. Now that is the weight, that's not the milliliters. So in order to figure out how many milliliters that is, we have to look at the SDS sheet for this product. By looking at the SDS sheet, we can see that the specific gravity of this product is 0 0.95. So to find the number of milliliters that we drew, we take the weight that was drawn times 0 0.95. Now that we've done our draw test and we know our value metrics, it's time to figure out our cost per car. First, we need to figure out how much one milliliter of chemical cost us. All you have to do is take the price that you paid for that product and divide it by the number of milliliters in the container that that product came in. There are 3,785 milliliters in one gallon. So, if you had a 30 gallon drum, you would multiply by 30 for 113,550 milliliters. For a 5 gallon drum, you would multiply by 5 for 18,295 milliliters. So for easy numbers, let's just say we have a 5 gallon drum that costs $100. So you take the $100 divided by the number of milliliters in the container, 18,295, for a total of 5.28 cents per milliliter. Now, Take that 5.28 cents times your number of milliliters that you drew. Let's say it's 20 milliliters on this application. So times 20 milliliters would give us a cost per application of 10.6 cents. That would be the cost for just this single application. So now that you know how to figure out the cost of each application, all there is to do is do draw tests on each application in the wash and calculate the cost of each of those applications. Add them up and you have your cost per car. If you found this video helpful in calculating your cost per car, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and check out all of our videos related to car washes.